Hey, my name's Dr. Knott, and welcome back to Orwell. So, this was the summary, or this is the summary of the last episode. We met a few people, Harrison O'Donnell, Juliet Carrington, Abraham Goldfels, Nina, and then of course Cassandra Watergate, who cooperated during the interrogation, and because of some info that we got from all of these, such as this, the protest in a mall was based on her planning, we stopped the bomb from going off in the mall. I feel very good about that. So let's go on to the next day. Episode 3, On Person. Symes, uh, the hero returns. No, no, it's all fine, really. You deserve the credit. At least from me, because you'll never get a public one. Just imagine your name in big letters in that TNB article. This Nina character is the final member of Thought that we don't have concrete information on. How do we know that she's the final one? Hmm. Since she is the one who planned the protest at the Circle Mall, and now a bomb has been found there, she is now of special interest to us. Her stance towards law enforcement just gives us one more reason, as you found out yesterday. Focus on Nina, but keep watching all the others too. Well, let's start by doing that. Subject, heart. So from unknown to Harrison. Hey, forgot to charge my phone tonight and yeah, so I have to do this the old fashioned way. I really wanted to thank you for the very nice evening, heart. I haven't enjoyed myself so much in, well, ever. Only, be, only to be topped by that night. That is, uh, rated R. I was hoping you'd drop by CCC and come pick me up tonight. We can cook together, maybe watch something, and who knows, maybe continue where we left off. You in? Funny, I just realized that I have never been to your place. Even after all these years, we have known each other. So, I figure you're hiding another love affair of yours there, are you? Probably your ex, the one you've been talking about ever so, ever so often or every so often when I was around, or this girl that always this girl that always yammering on about how she despised the safety bill. Nina, I think? Oh, well, that is helpful. So this isn't Nina, of course. But we can add that. Why would someone oppose the safety bill? We have the lowest crime rate in years, or possibly ever. You and me, we have a job thanks to the bill. Yep. The only reason to not support it is if you have a dirty past. Uh, well, I mean, or if you, like, Enjoy your privacy. With the situation as heated as it is, this sounds like someone we should have a very close look at. We need a full examination. First, a concrete background. Who is she? Second, what motivates her? What does she want? And finally, where was she around the time of the bombings? We're we talking about this person or Nina? Anywho, come to think of it, for all that torment, you owe me big time, so I really, really demand to come to your place. Love you, Marka. Oh, there you go. P.S. If you're going to the city center today, please, please, pretty please, take care of yourself with all the bombs and stuff. Don't stay any longer than necessary, okay? Alright, so this is Marka. Marka. And what are we looking at here? Let's go to the headlines, because nothing down here. I'm going to keep everything open, just because, you know, it makes everything longer and more difficult to scroll through. So we avert our investigators, but we really did it. Avert catastrophe at the Circle Mall. Let's just take a quick look. All right, yep, yep, yep. Not gonna read it because we know what happened. We're awesome. Except they're not liking, what, what else is there? Oh, the national opinion, be on watch. So this is the one from, oh, this is from Harrison O'Donnell. He just did another one? Yeah, this is today, okay. Hey, buddy. I think this is just complete BS. I think this. I think everything he writes in here is just a complete front. So, so let's get something abundantly clear to begin with. I feel bad. I feel like a fucking moron. You can swear in the, the journal or the uh, newspaper, and rightly so. In last week's N.O. article or uh, National Opinion article, I blabbered about how some bombs would soon go off in Bonson or Farview that time just to advertise my point of view. I'm truly sorry for everyone involved or affected by those terrible events. It was never my intention. It never was my intention to ridicule or trivialize attacks in Bonson. I don't believe this. No, I don't believe that at all. Well, if you've... Let's, so let's just do this. Disable. 
well, if if you've not been living under a rock and a massive boulder at that, the last couple of days, you absolutely must have heard that it that is pretty much exactly what went down. It's far beyond, I hate to say it, but to I told you so. Thanks to the efforts of our government and the safety bill, the latest attempts has now been prevented. Finally, a kick in the terrorist butts. Naturally, there are still tons of critical questions. How the hell is this possible to begin with? We have all the CCTV and new safety regulations out there. Why spend so much money for mechanisms that don't protect lives as they should? Why is there still no real suspect in sight? Not even to mention in custody. See, I think the second one kind of hints at it. So, he's saying he is pro-government here. But then, the second question, why are we spending all this money when it doesn't work, kind of, I think, hints at his true feelings here. These questions neglect one fact, though. People killing asswipes are among us. Oh, people killing, that should be a hyphen there. People killing asswipes are among us. They are our neighbors. They are like you. They are like me. Mind you, they are most certainly not like me. It's tough for cameras or other automated safety systems to recognize a criminal or a terrorist before he actually commits a crime. You cannot look into houses and certainly, thankfully, cannot look into the soul of a passerby. Yeah, see, this is more I like it, so he's like saying that it's almost pointless, so we should get rid of it. We the people of our great nation must grow ever more vigilant. We ourselves must, we ourselves must stand up for our safety, alongside of high-tech security mechanisms, as those can only work in addition to our own perception. Okay. Uh, I still don't think he's pro security mechanisms. Let's not get intimidated and not back down. So, here we go. Oop. Some shitheads thinking they can spoil our way of life. Report suspicious things going on as soon as you learn about them. It's your duty to the community, but mostly yourself. Loose lips can also sink terrorist ships, figuratively speaking. Hmm, maybe he's part of a gang of pirates who have terrorist ships. So, yeah, I think he's complete BSing us here. Movie release endangered by lawsuit against director. Well, that's timely now. <laughs> okay. That's oddly timely now. I don't really... What? Grey Shadows, aka Fifty Shades of Grey? I don't really feel like reading the this thing, but I'm gonna... A <laughs> hundred Grey Shadows. Oh my god. Hey, have we seen this in the, the ads here? Okay, I'm not reading the the pop culture stuff, but that gets rid of the headlines, I believe, right? Yeah. Or on indifference from the thoughts. So this is published by Nina. We still don't have a picture of her yet. What is this? Oh, that's just the thing. Okay. The indifference towards their own rights is a worse enemy than the government itself when we are to overcome privacy-destroying surveillance laws. We are in a state of war against our own government. The declaration of war is the safety bill, the only gain of which is reinforcing the chokehold the party has on us. With this bill, they are screwing every single citizen of this country. Yet most people are ignorant to this. Most people simply don't care about their rights being wrestled from them. Why bother when I have nothing to hide, is their default excuse. They feel safe in their cozy houses while the government solely puts the muzzle to their forehead, ready to pull the trigger any second. With our move on the crowded Circle Mall in Bonton yesterday, the first shots have been fired towards the lurking indifference among the populace. They were merely warning shots, a friendly reminder that it's about time to take sides in this conflict. We cannot tolerate indifference, we will not accept it. You are not with us on this, you're against us. Now this was written when? December. Okay, so this is, this is their, uh, one day after their protest on the mall. Gold fells. Frankly, I was in shock when I heard of the events in the mall. How you, in particular, incite, incited the crowd to directly threaten the visitors. Now I am even more astounded by your writing. You no, know, I agree, people being oblivious in this matter is the problem's root. We have discussed this many times. We must get their attention carefully, though, through interesting and remarkable events. We must make them think. Scaring them to death is the exact opposite. So he is... Oh, so he's saying Nina did that. Yeah, let's add that. We don't know anything about her, so we'll just add everything. Scaring people to get attention to one's message. Really? This is what thought is about? Well, clearly it's not, because that's what... I mean, at least not what Goldfell's intended, if he's telling the truth here. 
Alright, so Nina says, Scaring people is convincing them, Abe. People will only care about things that pose immediate threats to their life or lifestyle. Your own words. Surveillance is just too abstract a topic, too far away to grasp. They don't feel the danger of it, so we made them feel. It's as simple as that. We should really think of something about like climate control, because that's the same issue. It's so abstract, and it doesn't directly affect people on their day-to-day -day lives, that we should actually artificially flood coastal towns to make them... Anyway, I'm going on a tangent. Sorry. Okay. Let us follow your argument for a moment, says Goldfells. What did you achieve then? You just upset innocent bystanders in a time when they are already deeply unsettled. This is the exact reason why they are so afraid and yearn for safety in the first place. You have just proven them, and the government writes. Violence cannot be the key, and thought shall not stand for that. Hmm. Do I believe that? I don't see. Why, why not? I think he, he probably started this group, so this is like a professor type. Started the group, you know, old-fashioned, 1960s, let's, uh... Let's make some non-violent change, and then he gets all these teenagers going into the group and with all their hormones ruining everything, you know what I'm saying? Anyway. Nina, violence? There was no violence. No one was hurt, frightened at best. Honestly, I think it wasn't even enough. We made some local press, but the big fish TNB didn't bite. No big deal at all. How are we going to reach the broad audience, the rethinking you wanted, if you're not willing to let us do something about it? And then in jumps uh, Hancock. Ladies, gents, can we all calm down a notch? Abe, you are totally right. We were fucking fire starters. We got a little bit carried away by the euphoria of finally getting our message out there. We didn't think straight for a moment. It's not gonna happen again. Huh. Thanks for stabbing me in the back when I needed you the most, Harry. This is not the right place for discussion of this magnitude. We will have a word about it in our next meeting. So is this true? Do we really think that? Alright, let's add this. Ah, afterwards they're clever and feel sorry about their actions. It's always the same, exactly. Alright, we got the listener going off. Oh, what's Harry say? Oh, whoa. Hey, kiddo, you're abso fucking lootly right. One could rightly call that evening mind blowing. And of course, I'll pick you up tonight. I like this more you are talking of. I think I am in need of it big time. Let's not stay at my place tonight. Oh, buddy. Yeah, let's do that. I was waiting for Simes to chime in, but I guess not. It's utterly unfit for a lady like yourself. No lovers hidden there, only not so hidden leftovers and laundry. Especially not Juliet. You seriously are mentioning your ex like every single. Okay. I don't. I haven't heard anything of that bitch in months. Oh, that's a lie. I'm done with her because I'm with you now, my Marka. Yeah, we should switch this because right now I have. I have, uh, Juliet in a relationship, so let's do this. He's with Marka now. Julia and Harrison were together. That's one's news to me. Guess it doesn't matter. It seems to be over now. Okay, pinky swear. And Nina? You mean anything will set me off? Angry outburst Nina? Who the hell's... Oh, he was with Nina too. I was like, wait, who the hell's Nina? Doink. It's the concerned one. So wait, what are we saying here? It's... Angry outbursts. But he was. This is saying that he was with her. Enraged outbursts. Interesting. Keep looking for a reason behind this. I will, buddy. Don't even get started on her. She was my partner in crime a while ago, so to speak. That's it. See, now this is interesting. So I think this is. I would originally read this as um, a figure of speech. You know, they were just. Or just two people working on something. It could be like homework or a class. Or you could take it literally as it looks like this would be the case if I were to do this. I think that he's hiding something. Let's do it. Partners in crime? Okay, what crime? Yeah, mm, that might, have, might not have been literal, but now we can't undo it. 
So babe, see round eight straight tonight. Much love, H. All right. So nothing else here, yes? Let's go back to the main site. Everything else is archived still. Wait. From the main page, War on Indifference. There's something here that we missed. Oh, perfect. Now we can listen into on her and she's definitely gonna be talking. All right, Nina. Hey, Sylv. Hey, Nina. Just wanted to ask if everything is fine. Or is every if everything is fine? Yeah, don't worry, we're having a great time. Thanks for taking care even though it's Saturday. Don't mention it. Oh, Nina has a kid or something. How are you feeling? Still shitty. Nina, I hate to say it, but don't hold it against me, okay? I'm fine. No, you're not. You're worrying me. You always look so sad. Nothing to worry about. Anything new on the love front? No. That's a weird follow-up. Only idiots on this singular portal thing you recommended, Sylph. Don't know how you got to find John among so much crap. I'm gonna remove the account. Yeah, it's 99% fools, but just keep it tight. Someone will come to the rescue. No thanks, I can rescue myself. Gotta work now. Thanks again, Sylv. Call you later. See you, girl, and cheer up. Alright, so she's on, like, a dating thing. Singular. We'll find her profile, probably. And Nina is often sad. Could be relevant to find out what about. Yeah, no shit. Alright. Oh, there it is. We saw ads for this. Don't be single, be singular. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Continue to your profile. Oh, that's what she looks like. I thought she was more blue. Get it? Because she's often sad. Ayo. All right. All right, so that's Nina. Concerned one. Female, Bonson Fairview area. Boom. Born October 1985. Looking for men. 35 to 45. So, we know she's straight. That might be very important to this investigation. Don't say anything, Symes! Damn it. I'm <laughs> not sure this is helping. <laughs> Alright. 6-1. Wait. 1.85 centimeters? Uh... <laughs> is that... I mean, meters? What is that supposed to be a measurement of? I don't know. Athletic type. That's good. Diet, everything? Uh, is she like... Lemic? Drugs, smokes, drinks, never, never, never. Hiking, climbing, Asian food, the Beatles. Oh, there's a real band. Does not like suits, most movies, candlelight dinners, so don't even bother with that. Go to gym. Jim knows how to train. Jim. What is your problem with suits, huh? I mean, you're not wearing one. You're wearing a very Bradford-esque outfit, if you ask me. Green sweater. There isn't really much to say. If you'd like to get to know me, ask away. Well, that's that's inviting. Uh, okay, who are these people? We've got the dude from the IT crowd. We've got Farmer Jack. We've got Blondie. Wait, Blondie viewed your profile? And we've got Artistic Man, all in white. Uh, okay, so we didn't... Oh, good, there's more here. So that was the uh, profile. Here's the opinion. What are you looking for most in a potential partner? True love, honesty, fidelity, social connection, communicate- wait, or only the ones that are checked. So she doesn't want social connection? Is that what I'm seeing here? What is this gonna say? Yes, looking for financial stability. What? Who doesn't need a little bit of reliability in their lives? She's striving to find that stability on her own accord. Any reason why she craves stability? How long do you wish for your next relationship to last? A couple of years. Okay, so not even long terms. 
Would you consider allowing your partner seeing other people? Yes. Whoa. Would you consider dating someone who does not want or dislikes children? No. So yeah, I think she does have a child. I think she was talking to her babysitter. What places do you like to go on vacation? How come there are only, there are only four options? The seaside, the mountains. How interested in politics are you? Quite a bit, but not very much. Hmm. In the end, it all comes down to what degree of interest and which agenda. Are you a cat or dog person? Dog, gross. If you turn a left-handed glove inside out, it fits. What is this question? Actually, it should, shouldn't it still fit the left hand? I don't even know. All right, cool. Your conversation's perfect. Oh, pretender, AD, look at that dude. Okay. So conversation was started by pretender, 80, 34% match. That's not a big match at all. Why are you even talking? Hiya. Hi there, just saw your profile. You seem quite nice. So I wondered, do you have any more pictures? If so, let me know. Looking forward to hearing from you. And she just crushed that. Super Randy. Super Dandy Randy. Uh, we can go to his. We can't go to his. Why? Oh, because it's closed. Why is Sam? 87%. So we got artist Super Dandy Randy. Super Randy says, Hey Blondie, just came across your profile and I got stunned immediately by your striking beauty. I just had to message you. I wonder if you would spare some time for a lonely heart like me and go out with me sometime. We could go out and have a drink at Frank's. You know that one you know that one since you're from Bonton too, right? What about the weekend? She says, Blondie, seriously, I don't recall anyone ever calling me Blondie, and I am an 80s child. Great, me too, so when are we going out? Wait, what? We're not. Now I totally get why you are over 30 and still single. Arrogant bitch. Whoa, Randy. Not so dandy anymore. Alright, why is Sam? He's got it. Hi, concerned one. I just read your interesting profile. It left me dying for more information. Now, here I am, asking away like you requested. If you dislike candlelight dinners and movies as you stated, guys will probably have a hard time dating you. That makes me wonder, what is it that you would like to do on a potential first date? Of course, I could not resolve to just ask you out to the local Chinese place round the corner and just abandon all the candle part out of the dinner. Still, that does seem a bit straightforward. I could really use a helping hand here. Care to lend me yours? Cheers, Sam. Hi, Sam. It's kind of refreshing to read a decent message from time to time. If we were to go on a date, just ask me out to this local Chinese place you mentioned. I don't care much for dating rituals. By the way, name's Molly Schwartz. You can call me Molly. Well, what the hell, Nina? Molly Schwartz, she's using a fake name and such a peculiar one at that. Oh, so this is the fake name. Oh, I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Hi Molly, oh great, suits me well because, no kidding here, I don't like this stuff either. I think most guys don't, though it is nice from time to time, especially with the right woman. Speaking of which, I was hoping you could tell me a little bit of, more about yourself, or, or you, or whatever, whatever I'm trying to type. But the person behind the small picture, and all those separate chunks of data is like, what does Molly do for a living? What does she do when she's at home? Does she live all alone, or is there somebody waiting for her? Does she often get to climb? Mountains, because she likes mountains? I don't know. Please, Molly, feed a fool craving for each bit of knowledge about you. Don't let me starve. Cheers, Sam. Hey, Sam, you're quite the dramatic guy, aren't you? Anyway, here I go. I work whatever I find, aka temp work. Okay, that's, that's the financial stability that she needs. Oh, really? That that popped something up? Hope you weren't looking for someone with a shiny job title. I live in a small flat in between tons of industrial waste. You still with me? And indeed, I don't live alone. There is a special someone in my life. It's a man. And he is very, very important to me. He's also the reason I don't get to climb as much anymore. Jealous already? Je da da da. Jealous already? Don't be. It's my son, Michael. Boom. Nailed it. Yeah, he never responds. He's like, oh, kids. Single mother. Hmm. Doesn't seem like the type to be involved with terrorist attacks. Yeah, well, I mean, that's the that's the person that you get. Uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Work easy? 
Oh, so this is... Wait, so this... Wait, I'm, I'm guessing Nina is her fake name, not Molly Schwartz. Really? Because she's... Okay, I don't know. Looking for a job, looking for temporary staff. Okay, let's actually first start here. I think either one of these is fine. So I'm just... Yeah, we'll put it in there. Go ahead. Can provide the following services. Cleaning. Whatever, I'll just do this all. Oh, it does all of them. Good, okay. So she registered since 2013. Work experience. She's a work easy star. Done over 1,200 jobs. Many, many hours of stuff. Extras will work 10 plus hours per day. Work nights, weekends, and holidays. Okay. $8 an hour. Thanks. Look at us working on the weekend. It's different, of course, when you are a single mother. That must be tough. Interested in hiring Ms. Schwartz? Reach out. Boom. Thank you. Whoa, look at damn it! That was... Oh, crap. Perfect. An address is always helpful. That was that was a, a questionable one. It was in conflict with one unknown data chunk, and it's highly recommended to not do that. So that might have just boned me. But all right, I got two eager. I was just flinging things across. Private email address. Let's add that. So I got something on the listener, but I'm gonna quickly finish this site. Let's see your feedback. Just as the prime minister leaves, the weather is getting even shittier. Blaine cancels meeting for surprise trip to Triflith. Bonton City Cleaning. What is this? How's that in conflict? Wait, what is it saying? It's worked in multiple jobs during the current week. So she gets good reviews. 5 out of 5, 5 out of 5, 5 out of 5. We'll leave that alone because I don't want to mess anything else up. So those are the reviews, but she gets 4 out of 5 total, so she's been doing well recently at least. So that's good, I guess, for her. Okay, looking for a job, looking for temporary staff? In both cases, you've come to the right place. With WorkEasy, you have the nation's largest database of more than 47,000 reliable temp and part-time workers and over 5,600 high-profile employers right at your fingertips. For convenience and safety, we offer escrow payments, connecting temporary employees with employers in many areas, repairs, maintenance, administrative service, retail. So she does like... Repairs, maintenance, and service. Okay, so we're good here. What's going on here? We got a new headline, and then we'll get into the listener. Lane cancels meeting for surprise visit to Triflith. Anything interesting? So, surprise shift in priorities. He was originally scheduled meeting for with uh, Della Crow. Instead, he is going to pursue negotiations with President Cassart and the opposition. All right, great. That's wonderful. What do we got here? Examination results. Oh boy. Dear Miss Maternova, so Nita Mat Maternova. Oh, so she's going by complete alias while she works. Interesting. I'm writing on behalf of Dr. White. On your last visit to our office, a blood sample was taken. This was then sent in to the Bonton Central Hospital's laboratory for examination. I'd like to inform you the results are in now. So this was from two days ago. Patient number that. Report. There are no pathological findings. All values are normal and more or less ideal. Regardless, Dr. White has asked me to remind you of his advice once again. Sincerely, Adelaide Ferguson, assistant to G Gerald White, medical doctor. Okay, so she's not pathological. That's good, I guess. Central Medical Database of Nina Maternova. Damn it! 
Okay, go back. I messed that up. So we don't have her correct address. I'm assuming this would be right. This is much more reliable than her fake... Ugh, crap. Okay. So that's a complete screw up. What do we got here? The patient complains about pain throughout the left thigh and the upper leg. He describes the pain as searing, burning, sometimes bursting. The leg feels numb at times. Symptoms occur whenever the leg is stressed, releasing only when sitting or lying down. Symptoms started nine days ago. Addendum. I've asked the patient regarding the healed wound on her left upper leg as no medical record existed in this database. She was evasive and gave no clear statement about the wound's origin. Examination. Uh, VS. Uh, 128 over 82. Is that cholesterol? Uh, heart rate 62 beats per minute. NPD. Uh, I, I'm not a medical person, so if anyone knows, let me know. Visual examination revealed satric cicatrics on lateral left upper leg. Palpitation of the leg conducted. Tenderness to light pressure. Leg skin is warm to the touch. X ray revealed former deep wound in dorsal left upper leg. Femur sinistra. NPD blood sample taken and sent to the BCH lab. Pain is most probably due to a prior inflicted wound in dorsal left upper leg. Ouch, the info might come in handy though. Uh, compressing or damaging the nervous cutaneous femoris lateralis. Symptoms are similar to those of moralaga paresthetica. Ooh. Medical leave with strict rest until the end of April 2017 has been suggested. Oh, okay. I think this is true then, because this all these people would not give her um, reviews if she wasn't there, you would think, right? So she was working a lot over the week. Does that account for or perhaps limit her ability to have triggered the bombings? Yeah, I don't know. Patient has been strongly advised to favor the leg to avoid further complications. So she's definitely not doing that. Spiron 400 milligrams has been prescribed with the following annotations. Take two times a day after meals. Advise patient to come back if symptoms do not improve after 14 days. Can we go to the previous? So I'm really mad that I can't get this in here. What was this? 2015, so two years ago. Digestive nausea and vomiting accompanied by light fever. Yeah, that's where that is. Slight irritation of the pharynx. Gastroenteritis. Gastrex. Okay, previous, keep going. So now we're in 2014. The patient reports a permanent unrest, inability to sleep properly, gets up 5 to 12 times a night, but does not feel overly tired. Hypervigilance. I don't know if she currently is still doing that. Oh, does she have restless leg syndrome? Uh, we'll, we'll add it when I don't care. Who cares? This might be outdated. She she might still she might still do it. I don't know. It's close to feelings of paranoia though. It's not the same. Hmm. When asked for the duration of the symptoms to record the anamnesis, the patient stated they began over three years ago. What, three years? What happened back then? It must have been really bad. But would not elaborate, asking why she did not visit earlier, the patient vehemently voiced discontent. A similar behavior was observed in reaction to any question regarding the origin of the symptoms or social and occupational circumstances at that time. In addition to the usage of strong language, the patient also hit a cabinet door with her fist. It was hard to get clear, reliable statements. Diagnosis. The patient tends to react aggressively when feeling challenged or confronted. Rushes to extremes. Symptoms are similar to those of a PTSD, but can only be confirmed by dedicated psychoanalysis. That sounds menacing, an important finding. I wonder what may have caused it. We're getting there, buddy. What situation this might have caused is unknown. Prior medical records for clarification cannot be found. Okay, we're not going to get there yet. Strongly advised to attend psychotherapy. Additionally, Zamarillin, Zamarillin night, take one capsule per day, was prescribed also suggests to go and find the company of other people, like-minded group to talk to. So I've been thinking about this while I've been reading. If, we're, if we have to go make an arrest, we're going to go to the wrong address, because this is the right one. So this could end 
poorly, and we'll see if it does. Alright, let's keep with Nina for a second, and then we'll go back to Julia. Wait. Initiate? Knock, knock. Uh-oh. Question mark. You've got to ask who's there. Not in the mood for knock-knock jokes. Aw, you blew it. Cut the crap, who are you? So now you can ask? Initiate is the name. Do I know you? Boom. I'm someone who knows you better than you know yourself, sweetie. This initiate again, I wonder what his or her role in this is. Well, let's find out. Initiate has been in contact with two of our target persons so far. This should be enough. And here we go. Feel free to investigate this hacker as well, but keep the focus on Miss Matronova for now. He's our... I think this person's our un-person. Un oh, not again. You're from Singular, right? Don't care how you got my number. Just leave me alone. Hello, no. That's not where I'm from. Locked communication. Smart. So here's Initiate in contact with these two. All right. Let's keep going with this. Oh, no, no, no. Can't block an issue out like that, sweetie. Was the duck off? Fuck. <laughs> you should listen to me just for the moment, all right? And then I'm all gone. Oof. I don't care what you have to say. See, I know about your little band of troublemakers, and I really dig it. Government needs a kick where the sun don't shine. That's all right with me, sweetie. But bombing people, that's plain wrong. Bullshit, how come you think that was one of us? Let's just say I've been watching you all for some time. So he's been watching them, and we've been watching them, and now we're watching him. He's probably watching us. Bonton and bombs hit places where your outlaw posse has been too in the past. No way you did not hear about that. Even the cops seem to even the cops seem have found out or sorry, God. When they throw numbers in like this, just type it out. Even the cops seem to have found out at least something. They knew where to look for the last bomb. So give me a reason to, you know, like put that consciousness of mine at ease. I would want to help you, not turn you in. How dare you threaten me? You got nothing. Yolanda, be cool. I said I was to help after all. I want to help, not threaten you. I'll show you I can be trusted. I'm going to hack the precious page of the party and upload a special something. It's going to be easy. With those party IT guys being lazy bones as long as they don't see it coming in the next few secs. Go! Then you'll answer my question. He dares. Wow. The IT guys are going to make short work of this rookie. Nice. We got him. Then you'll answer my questions, all right? Don't care about your shit. Wait, wait, wait. Give me a sec while I get to work. Don't go away. If I could get away from you, I would. I can't switch my phone off now. That is a nice looking firewall you have there, dear party web team. It would be a shame if someone would just bypass it. Can you actually shut up? Doing this still gives me the chills and I need to distract myself somehow. So, sheesh, almost done. Come on, we got him, we got him. Just a second longer. How is he typing this out and doing hacking at the same time? What the heck? Ah, you little punk, we got you. Oh, um, shit, man. They reinforced their huge gaping loophole. It just vanished. It's like, almost like somebody warned them. Yeah, whatever, goodbye, initiative. Oh, maybe we shouldn't have done that. Let's initiate and wait. Because now he knows someone's watching him. I'm going to spam you for the rest of your days if you don't answer my questions. Hell, will you fucking leave me alone then and quit poking around in my life? You said you were not involved in the assaults. I'm not. Okay, okay. Do you think it's someone else in thought? This man of misfit, misfits? Never. Harrison is the only guy I could remotely imagine doing anything like that. Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's go. Let's add it. Stop moving. 
Harrison had an interest in Cassandra because she could access the, the big money through her parents' company. First the hacker is suspecting him, and now her? What do they know that we don't? Oop. What do you have to say? Must be crushing when your friends only like you for your money. Otherwise, she is mostly a spoiled brat who thinks the world owes her. Juliet was a bit shy, but damn good at organizing stuff. Not capable of doing uh, going terrorist, if you ask me. No, but I think it's the Gov themselves behind the bombings. Hmm. Thought about that. Did you know that since 2011, all the electronic devices must have unique IDs? They look like this. PC, <laughs> PC 00357-1009. It's not even secure. It looks like the code labeled on my PC. Well, that's because it is. What? Don't worry, I only have I only access the number remotely, nothing more. You deserve some privacy. Fuck off. First you threatened me, now this? We got to catch up, we missed a few. We'll do. Initiate rec recognizes when his help is not wanted. Yeah, if only you finally would. Alright, so this is her PC number. That helps us with anything. We can maybe watch her do stuff on the internet. I don't know. Oh, very good. You found a device UID. Every device in the nation has one, in accordance with the safety bill. Now you tell me? You can use the insider tool ah, to connect and see what a user has on their device. Note, a device must be running and have an online connection in order for you to access it. Of course, we missed a few things. Okay, so here. Juliet, let's get her. Let's, what is this? Yeah, she would, she would think that. <laughs> what a joke. Of course the government will bomb Bonson to bits. Justify surveillance? Right. I've heard that a million times by now. Every time something happens, there's nothing to these conspiracy theories. Pretty uh, defensive there, Symes. Okay, so Juliet. She thinks Juliet... What is this? Good at organizing. Okay. Can I go... There we go. We missed one more, I think. Yeah, so Initiate is anti-governmental, but at this point, everyone we know is, so that's not much of a, a factoid here. Is that it? I think so. Yep. Okay. So let's do this. We'll hit the insider, we'll hit the reader. So Juliet and somebody. Welcome to Rosentech. You are calling outside of our office hours. Please. Hey, little jewel bug. June? It's so great to hear from you. Jewel bug. Yeah, you too. That's why I called. It was about time June and jewel bug had their annual sisterly chat, right? Nice. Super right. How did you know I was working today? Ha. Huh. When aren't you? Ah, oh, sorry. I forgot for a second. You actually know me. Feeling stress? Boss causing troubles? I can call back later. Oh, no, no. Hanging around in the office is just a good excuse. You know not to be at home. I see. Never got why you moved back in the first place. I had to leave my student apartment. You know that. And you know that's a super lame excuse. You earn good money at Rosentech, don't you? You could rent any flat in town. Just don't want to. Ah, I see you're not going to relent. Nope, sorry. I had a pretty rough start into this year. I couldn't really stand being alone at the time. I feel much better now, but mom, dad, they're so happy I'm back. I, you don't want to disappoint them, do you? Yeah, I can't do that to them. Not again. And I hear I was thinking Juliet had finally reached a state of emancipation. Hey, I have. No, you haven't. You're letting yourself be hassled by mom and dad yet again, little jewel bug. Jewel bug is strangely nostalgic. You still say that. Ha <laughs> remember how I made that up for you? Yeah. I was so envious when Dad called you his June Bug. He didn't have any nickname for me, and rightly so. Don't give in to Dad. At least give him a good fight, okay? I will, believe me. Goody. So I figured I should leave you to work then. Yeah, office is empty, but yeah, my to-do list is long. Okay, let's talk. Uh, let's talk another time. I will call you again. Do not try to reach me. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. June. Yep. Thank you for believing in me. Ah, look at you sounding so serious. That's what a big sis is there for, right? Guess so. See you, June. See you around, Jewel Bug. All right, so that's just a nickname her sister. What? Okay, whatever. That's an alias. Oh, what kind of nickname is that? 
Well, you weren't listening. Uh, her sister is June. Okay, I'm not gonna. Uh, yeah, I... Do, do, maybe? Alright, whatever. I guess that just happens even in really close families sometimes, especially if you're living at home, you know? Pretty rough start to the year. Considering she ended her relationship at that time, yeah. Working on Saturday. And has a sister. Yep. Alright. Let's go to the Insider. Desktop for Nina. That's her polygonal son. What's in the trash? Request regarding job. Dear Miss Schwartz, this is from Creed at Bonton City. We are glad to inform you that we will indeed be able to meet your request. Please be present at the operating site around 4 p.m. on both days. Please keep a copy of this message as confirmation receipt, as we will not be able to make changes to the job originally agreed upon in your easy work profile. Regards, Clive Reed, Human Resources Management, Public Cleaning. Okay. Dear Mr. Reed, I have a request on rather short notice. Would it be possible for me to take over the Freedom Plaza shift on April 11th and 12th from 4 to 8 p.m.? Oh, not her. Alright, Molly Schwartz, aka Nina Maternova. She requested to be relocated to a job at one of the bombing sites. Well, it's only a request, but it connects her to the bombing location. If we could associate Miss Maternova with the two other sites, we will be on the safe side. Well, there are two more things in the trash. Whoops. Wait, where are we? Back to her desktop. Trash. Okay, how do I go? Oh, like that. So, application as a mechanic. So, let's read it in order. Dear Miss Westfield, I would like to apply for a job as a mechanic at Westfield Cars. Please find my application documents, the cover letter, my CV, and references attached. Dang, too bad we don't have those attachments. If you have any questions or need further information, please reach out to me via phone. My number is this. So thank you for this is the generic denial, right? Uh, unfortunately, I've chosen another applicant who fits this position slightly better. Okay. And then as a housekeeper, dear Mr. Boyle, is it the same number? Hope so. So I'd like to apply as a housekeeper at Williamson Real Estates. Said so inform you we decided another candidate. Okay. Back to desktop. Private. Which just go to system. Browser history. Search for CCTV Stelligan on Thursday. That's an odd thing to search for when you don't have something sinister in mind. It's vaguely associates Nina with the Stelligan assault. That makes two locations she is tied to. We will have a very solid case when we can make that three. This is just to her profile and stuff, right? So let's... Oh crap, let's go back to this. Oh, we're good. And that's just her singular... Okay. And then private. Do not read. Okay. From herself to... Who? So I guess you disregarded the subject and went straight to reading this utterly embarrassing mail nonetheless. I knew you would. Well, don't let... Don't tell me I didn't warn you. I've never written a text like this in my entire life, so I hope you'll be clement with me. Our backpacking trip along the Italian northwest coast has been... Okay, I'll just call... I'll just say it. Amazing! Brilliant! The best one I have ever been on. And that was not due to the sun, even though it was bla blazing all ten magnificent days through. It was not due to the rocky coastline with its endlessly serpentine roads winding up and down the cliffs. Not due to the picturesque villages alongside of them we passed through. Sorry, I read that really awkwardly. It was due to you being there with me. It made me enjoy every single second of it. I mean, just remember the one time we went to have a photo of us taken and the only person around was that elderly Italian woman? She didn't understand a word of what we wanted and just kept shrugging and shaking her head. I had to bite my tongue so hard not to burst out in laughter, but you, cool as you are, 
just walked out to her, gave her your broadest smile, put the camera into her hand and the finger on the shutter release, and then ran back to me to make absolutely sure she wouldn't take a picture of just me. It's funny how this one of all the shots made for the best photo from the entire trip, don't you think? Every cell in me wants to just backspace all of this letter and not send it, but at the same time, I just want you to read it and know how I feel about you. Seems you have passed the patented Desmond Schwartz relationship test. I might as well write down what I have been trying to say all the time here. I love you. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, it's from Sh Desmond Schwartz. Oh. Is that her fake name? She's the last name she's going by? Schwartz? Or maybe that... Wait, wait. Okay, let's see. Schwartz, like her alias, yeah. So, she isn't single after all? I don't know, dude. I don't know. So this is from Goldfells. Nina! Let's, uh, let's just grab that quickly. I'd like to offer you my sincerest apologies. It's not my intent to denounce you in front of all of the members of Thought. Or worse, basically everyone. After all, what we do or say online persists like a minefield, as I wrote in an earlier blog post. I should have been more considerate. Your actions at the Circle Mall have turned out to be very different to what I had anticipated them to be. But that was hardly your fault, it was mine. Instead of passing judgment on you, I would like to offer my help. From my impressions, I would assume you are someone whose life so far has been troubled, to say the least. Although it might not seem obvious, I have a rather moving background as well. As they put it, it takes one to know one. I would suggest we have a talk about how we might assist each other. Please let me know if you are interested. Assist each other with what exactly? So maybe that, that thing at the mall wasn't so dangerous, but whatever. Picture of her son, Oh, she looks... Incredibly sad. You. You know, if we were to marry and have children, it would be really funny if my name was Molly. Desmo. Whoa, wait a second. You're getting ahead of yourself. You know, I like to plan ahead. Desmo. Yeah, you do like that. I really like Nina as a name, though. Why Molly? Desmond sounds. Uh, Desmond says to Molly, Girl, I like your face. Come again. Oblati Oblada? The Beatles. Don't tell me you don't know that. You're the oldie lexicon impersonated. I have to admit, I never was such a Beatles fan. More on the Rolling Stones sides of the road. Okay, this is a major gap in your knowledge. You're aware of that. Why I do know that... Why I do know the song. Uh, there was something about a bra in there, wasn't it? Sheesh, it's not about a bra. In a couple of years, they had built a home sweet home with a couple of kids running in the yard of Desmond and Molly Schwartz. I like the idea. Me too. You don't have a problem with kids being the center of my life, do you? Not at all, but I guess you'll have to go and change your first name. I wonder for a single mother, yes. Everything we found on Miss Madanova show just shows a single mother trying to make ends meet for her son. That seems to be her primary motivation, and it's an admirable one at that. One that does not mix well with terrorist ambitions. I know. Maybe I will. Ha! I officially dare you. I will do that for real, just you wait, and then we'll see... La la how the life goes on. Bra. Okay, so now we know why she likes Molly Schwartz, because of the Beatles. And there's the squad. She's an army veteran. Ms. Madanova is an ex-soldier? This is worthy of in-depth research. We need to specifically know what kind of experience she has. Okay, that's everything, right? Alright, let's go back to Harrison. He's got something new here, huh? So today. 
I think most of you, my very loyal followers, friends, and fiends, have never actually heard that I'm writing for the TNB. But yeah, that is a thing. Looky here. So that's the thing that we read. Then Judy Hall says, This is why you kept quiet here for so long. Congrats to that. Peter Fletcher, what the hell? The big revolutionary himself, a lackey to one of the most pro-fascist, pro-surveillance, bullcrap newspapers? That picture, is that spick and span babyface you? And that text, loose lip sync terrorist ships? Will the real Hancock please stand up? Guess the gov bought you like everyone else. See the revolution go down the drain. Excuse me now, I have to puke my way more than I ate. Or, I have to puke way more than I ate. Peter, 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 I know what you mean, I feel you. When the TNB called on me to ask if I would write for them, I laughed at them hard for 30 minutes straight before hanging up. Then they called me again to let me know I could write whatever I want, no strings attached. Hell, I can even fucking swear, and I do, frequently. Now I get the attention and reach... Now I get the attention and reach I always wanted, and I can use it for the good cause. Well, good luck. With an article like that, you could not be any further away. Yeah, so that... Yeah, okay. Okay. I can't believe you wrote this on the internet. What's wrong with you, dude? Alright, back to Nina. So, out of service... I'm gonna disable that portrait. First, Army veteran of 1st Combat Engineer Battalion, Company B, Platoon 1246. Combat Engineer. I'm assuming everything on this site is true, right? And Bravery Medal. Nice. Miss Maternova seems to have come a long way from being such an honorable person. Well, here's the PTSD. She probably got, like, something in her leg. So, start from oldest to most recent. Enlisted, assigned platoon, basic combat training complete, specialization training, combat engineer complete. Yeah, we know that. Assigned another platoon, promoted to specialist, partakes in foreign mission, returned to Bonton Barracks, promoted to corporal, got the bravery medal, promoted to sergeant. In charge of Squad Alpha. Partakes in foreign mission. Wounded in combat. Here we go. Considered AWOL. Absent without official leave. Still up oh, at the AWOL is cleared. Returned to the barracks. Court martial sentence. Honorable discharge and three months of confinement for being AWOL with voluntary return. In confinement and then discharged. Can I take this? There you go. In 2011. That is a severe punishment. Did you know this puts her on the same level as any other previously convicted felon? That's pretty rough. Oh, here we go. So the nation is landlocked. We've got Gentria, Ustvakia, and Parges. Parges. So we can, we can do every single one of these? We got, let's... Memorial. Alright. Anyone's name gonna pop up here? Oh, no. 2011. Oh, that sucks. This is harsh. 2011 army missions were sanctioned by the current government. As much as I hate to say it, it definitely provides motivation to hate the government. Let's find more to back that up. Oh, boy. That's unfortunate. So yeah, person she wants to marry. Her mission Kerberos. Is that here? Yeah. Okay. Let's go there first. Oh, I just. Wait. What? Oh. Let's learn more about the mission. Oh, it's down here. Safety bill. Alright, so I'm not going to read everything here unless something pops up. So her unit was not involved in that. Let's see which one she was involved in. Parge's peacekeeping mission? So, 1st Combat Engineer Battalion partially tasked with mine clearance. Okay. Which would, maybe if she, if, like, she was injured because a mine exploded and she got, like, shrapnel in her leg or something. Border patrols. Nope. Ustvakia drug inhibition. Nope. Mission stable Ustvakia. Nope. And flood aid. First combat engineer battalion partially tasked with infrastructure maintenance. I'm guessing. I'm guessing she did this one. And 
she got shrapnel in her leg. That's why she got injured. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Knowledge about explosives. We now know enough of Miss Matronova's background. And here's where she admits everything in a phone call. With Sylv. Sylv and Nina. From Sylv to Nina. Yes? Hey again, Nina. Sylv here. How's it going? You feeling better? Yeah, somewhat. Finally, after spending the whole last week in bed. Oh, good. I can still bring Michael around, though. Do you want? No, no, thanks. I'm gonna pick him up in an hour or so. Would that be okay? Yeah, of course. I promise to go to the playground with him. That's fine. I'll pick Michael up from the corner at uh, Orchard Drive, wasn't it? Right. Great. Thanks again. Thanks again. See you in an hour. See you, Nina. I'm not gonna go arrest her, are we? What is this? Stayed at home sick over the past week. So we know this is true. Okay, that might play a role later. Yeah. Oh boy, there it is. Recent jobs and ratings for Molly Schwartz. Three out of five. So yeah, this is not. She did not stay in bed all week. Miss Schwartz did an okay job at the Circle Mall. She seemed a little distracted though, and ultimately quit for not feeling well after eight of ten planned work hours. It's a lot of work to cross that there. She worked at the bombing site and even at the right time. We have now been able to associate Miss Maternova with every bombing location. Her whereabouts are hereby clarified. Things are not looking good for her. That's it. You found all we need to know. Let's see. Her knowledge about explosives might have helped Miss Maternova build those bombs. Everything highlights that she's a single mother struggling and worrying about her child. And finally, you could associate her with every single bombing location and prove that she was present at the correct time of one. It seems we found our prime suspect. This is grounds for arrest. Well done. I will need a moment to talk to my superiors. I'll get back to you soon. Keep observing Miss Maternova for activity. Here's the twist, right? Here's the twist. We're gonna get a twist here. We're gonna arrest her incorrectly, that's my guess. Hey, hi Molly. So that this is just letting her know. So she got the email saying that she's been raided. She quickly went there and logged out. Now she's chatting with Harrison. Hey Harry, are you there? Oh please, is my name Ebenezer Scrooge? Why do you all why do all the ghosts of Christmas past suddenly come to haunt me? Harry, I don't have time for this. I have a problem here. I need your tech knowledge for Oh wait, I need I have a problem here, I need your tech knowledge for. Why doesn't anyone ever ask me about my problems? Alright, what is it? I just came home. I had left my PC switched on this morning and just tried to look something up online and suddenly it all went haywire. My security app popped up like with like a million warnings of some outside intrusion, so I pulled the plug. Sounds like you already fixed the problem then. Thing is, I got contacted by a very strange guy earlier. I think he was some kind of hacker. He said you had sent him my way, and now he's hacking my goddamn PC. Jeez, this guy's a nuisance. I think that guy actually broke into my bank account as well. <laughs> yeah, right. I was contacted by that guy as well. He was blabbering about everything that we had done in the past. Claimed he would give our stuff away to the cops. Blah, 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 the usual stuff. He told you that as well? What did he do? I told him to fuck off. Who do you take me for? You think he really has something? I need to be sure... Wait, I need to be sure it doesn't have a thing. Even if that guy had something, have you gotten your hands dirty lately? What's the fuzz about? I need to get out of here before the cops are here. Why is that now? Boom. Wait, get away. Oh, come on. 
The guy is a fucking fake. Jeez, what? We cannot let our main suspect escape. I will assemble an intervention team immediately. We'll start creating roadblocks. I'll inform the intervention team that they should move in aggressively. As he found out, she might react violently. Hello, is anyone there? Figures. Close. Since her device is offline, we'll have to start at her home. Thankfully, we already know her address. No! Shoot. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Go through her communications. Maybe she will hint at places she goes when she isn't at home. Or anything of importance to me at once. I'll brief the intervention team accordingly. You know what? I bet you this is uh, her boyfriend. What's his face? Desmond's old address or something. We're so boned. It's in your hands now. Good luck and stay vigilant. I messed that up. Oh boy. Now she's calling Juliet. Welcome to Rosentech. You. Oh, hey Juliet. Thank God you're working right now. I called your mobile, but couldn't get hold of you. Can we talk? Nina, I'm all alone here catching up on work. Is everything okay? Listen, I don't have much time. There is this psycho coming for me. He's been stalking me for days. What? What do you mean, psycho? I can't explain right now. Will you help me? Of course, but how? Do you know somewhere safe that my son and I can lay low for a while? Hmm, I, I don't know. Come on, Juliet. You gotta think of something. Please. Okay, okay, I think I know a place. It's in the middle of nowhere. It's the home of... No, wait, don't say it. I think he might be listening. What? How? This guy is a hacker. He's already gone through my computer, and I'm pretty sure he's listening to my calls. Are you kidding me? You mean, like, maybe listening right now? Just don't say anything that will give my location away, okay? Better safe than sorry. Just help me get out of here. Jesus, Nina. Be late for that now. Now he knows where I work. Sorry, okay. Let's get you out of here. Thank you. Give me a sec. Just gonna pick some stuff. So they're gonna have to be as vague as possible. I'm bringing my gun. Oh, lordy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you looking to get yourself killed? If someone is listening to this, they know you're armed and dangerous. Yeah, and if I don't bring protection, I'm going to be dead anyway. She's armed? I didn't expect that. I will tell the intervention team to be prepared for resistance and to shoot if necessary. Okay, everything's packed. No sign of them yet. I'm getting out of here while I've still got luck on my side. Yeah, we're not gonna catch her. She's gonna get away. Okay, I'm outside. Can't see anyone suspicious. Are you actually sure someone is coming? I had enough. There's been enough shit to suggest that someone is coming to ruin my day. Okay, okay. Let's get, you, let's get you right out of town then. Juliet, I've got to do something important first. I've got to pick up my son. I can't leave him behind. Yes, go there, go there. Go there, go there, go there. Where is it? Oh no, wait, don't say it. Just go for it. Thank God it's raining like hell. I can barely see 10 feet in front of you. I can slip away. Good, we already know where that is. The team will be there. Yes, thank God. Oh, we almost boned. We almost messed that up. Be safe. I'll stay here and work out how to get you out. Thank you. We got her. We got her. I mean, I don't know if she's guilty, but she's she's leaving. She did something. Nina, who is this guy? Why are you tapping your calls? Really? Can you tell me? It's okay. Look, I, I might have fucked up. I mean, look, you don't need to know who is after me. There's no reason. You're not doing anything illegal by helping me. <laughs> and I want to keep you safe. Sorry, this is getting to me. It's okay, Nina. Almost there. Alright, I'm here. I'll put my phone on. Oh shit! What is it? That guy is in front of the house. How did he know where I was going? He didn't say anything. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Nina? Fuck, fuck, fuck. Nina? What? Forget about him. No fucking way. Leave him. He's gonna be fine. Never. I'm not leaving him. Going in. Don't do it. Please. It's not gonna end well. It's worth it. Nina, what the hell are you doing? Not going down without a fight, that's what. Nina, no! You're not gonna get- 
Nina? Nina! I lost connection to the office at the scene. What the? I need my connection back now! Finally. Looks like we were successful. However, our target... She didn't make it. There was a shootout. After the first shots, the team returned fire. I told them to go in aggressively. I thought it was the right thing to do. Didn't want this to happen. Yeah. I mean, you didn't have to go in that aggressively. Who is writing at the worst possible time? I just want to be done with this horrible day. Can you check the mail, please? Yeah, see the, see the issue with that is she's so paranoid that she thinks she's being attacked um, that she was going to shoot anyway, it seems like. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why would you even write this? Nina, I'm truly sorry for having drawn the investigator's attention to you, but frankly you overstepped the boundaries of our agreement. The bombs are meant as a warning to those who are indifferent. Beacon of remembrance to our message that the thoughts must always be free. They were not meant to kill. Once again, you disappoint me with your insurmountable hatred and rage. Consider our agreement void. So this says that it motivated Nina to commit terrorist assaults. Oh my god. I can't believe you just found this. Can you? They work together on this madness, but why? I still don't get it. This changes everything. We must find Abraham Goldfels tomorrow. Or we'll need some rest. It's been one hell of a day. You may log out now. Uh, I'm gonna disable that. We're going after this... This trucker. Alright. So, Nina is now deceased. Does that show up here? That's not a thing we can do, huh? Her PC's not going to be turned on anytime soon, right? Alright, so that was day three. That was pretty exciting. Nina is no more, and we've got Goldfells and the Initiate. I wonder if those two are the same person. Anyway, because he's got contact with everybody, so does Abraham, these two. Alright, well, anyway, it's been long enough. Let's uh, call it a day. I'm getting sleepy <sighs> from all this work. Just kidding, not really. Uh, I thought this was going to screw us over this wrong address, but thankfully she loves her. She loved her son. Alright, so that's a pretty sad story with respect to Desmond Schwartz and, you know, her life just falling apart. Single mom and all. Um, anyway, yeah. On that note, next time we will do episode four, day four of Orwell. Thank you for watching, and as always, I will see you next time. Take care and goodbye.